All right, we're back again, and this time I want to actually beat it. Uh, I think, yeah, yeah, I, th I think it's that time. Uh, let's continue. All right, the Spiral Tower, 36 hours in. And man, it could have been a lot more hours than this if I'd actually done any of the side content. I've I've kind of been powering through the game. All right. And also, also, uh, things should look a little bit better today. Uh, like, just overall, uh, things should look better for my, uh, my console capture setup. Uh, I just sorted out some technical issues. Okay, well, here we go. Got a save point. Let's do it. Oh, of course not. It's... No, it's... What, what do you think was going to happen? Did you think I was going to go through that door and it was going to be the final boss fight and, it, you know, it was going to be, uh... You know, it, it was going to be time to save the day? No, no. There's more puzzles. Of course there are. Hmm... Okay, can't go up there, but there is loot. Blackberries. Oh, but look, I have too much. I got too much crap. Oh, that's nice. That's lovely. So. All right, we got a door we can go in here. Another one here. And then, oh, look, a third one right over there. Okay, so. All right, I, I guess let's, uh, well, hold on. There was actually something back here, too. Yeah, let's go back here and, uh, see if there's anything, uh, any secrets or anything that I need. Uh, knowing this game, it's not going to be a secret. It's going to be something very critical that I have to have. Oh, I, I thought I could be sneaky. I thought I could be sneaky, but I was wrong. Oh, was I wrong. Okay, let's, uh, let's use power up. Man, I wish I hadn't synced those apple pies into my weapon. I, I really do. I really wish I hadn't synthesized a bunch of apple pies into my weapons. That was the dumbest thing I think I could have done. At the same time, Maria's already so overpowered. I, You know, it couldn't... Like, really and honestly, it's like it couldn't hurt. Okay, they're, yeah, they're stacking on the berries. Oh, wait, hold on. There's one more. Okay, yeah, they, they really want me to do some synthesizing. That's, uh, that's what I'm getting out of this. But, I mean, look, look, we're 36 hours in, okay? 36 hours in, this is the final, the final run, as it were. Uh, I don't, I think maybe it's a little too late for that sort of thing. Uh, hold on. Let me, uh, get to a safe spot here. Gonna have to use some blackberries eventually. Oh, ow, mmm. Why, why would I do that? Why would I, I shoot right into the guard, huh? Alright, so I can kind of do like a, a three-hit combo there. Uh, that's all it takes to kill them. Oh, I see people are already showing up. I Here I thought I was being sneaky, and uh, no one was going to show. Okay, so yeah, the, the only thing that was over here was a bunch of items. 
that, that was it. Uh, I thought it was going to be something really important, but uh, I was wrong. I was very wrong. And also, to anyone showing up, it's like, hey, you could be voting. You could be out voting right now. Uh, but no, no. This is more important. <laughs> Uh. Okay, puzzles. Puzzles. Uh, let's see, where's... Ah, here we go. So I saw like three crystals, and I'm guessing that I need to... Uh, I need to do something with those three crystals. What do I need to do? Well, hold on a minute. Oh, oh, look, here we go, here we go. Yeah, you gotta break the wall out. I was warned about this. Uh, the peoples, they told me. They told me about this sort of thing. Okay, well, I... I pushed a button down. Alright, I pushed a button, and I'm gonna guess that did a thing. And now we're good. Now we're good to go. Well, on, on this side, anyway. There's There were three doors, so... Yeah, see, look, one of the crystals is glowing now. That one right there. Uh, but we're gonna have to do that again. Gotta do it two more times. Ugh. Oh, yeah, yeah, gotta break that wall out. Okay, you know, this would be a lot harder. Uh, this would be more of a... This would be more of a puzzle, right? If it weren't for the fact that I can just see through the walls. Like, uh, when you get close to a wall, it just shows up on your map. Um, yeah, no, that kind of takes the puzzle out of it. Kind of takes the puzzle out. Ooh, ooh, look at all this nonsense. Fire absorption! Again, I'm sure they want me to synthesize. I'm sure they want me to do all kinds of crafting, and, and you know, that's nice, but uh, how close are we all to leveling up? Hmm. Seems like, uh, like, look at this. Maria is the highest level character right now. Uh, is there anything I can, like, is there anything I can do with their EXP? Not really. Like, yeah, look, look, everyone is maxed out for HP and MP. It's just their attack and defense. That's that's the only thing that needs to, to be leveled up still. Alright, so I'm just staring at the map. I'm just trying to find that point where I can break the wall down. Oh, here we go, here we go. It's, uh, it's right around here somewhere. Oh, I can just go in. Magical berries. Okay. Yeah, that room is just nothing. Hmm. Well, they're really giving me the loot. Like, they, they really want me to have, uh, you know, berries and, uh, synthesizing stuff, and... Yeah, they, they really want me to have all that, but, uh, again, it's just a little too late. I guess maybe, it, like, if I felt like going back to town, I could boost up fate a little bit. I could give him slightly better... I don't know, I could... I guess I could pump his sword up so that he does more damage. But he's controlled by the AI, and the AI is always going to make him do really, really dumb things, so... It just seems like a lose-lose there. Anyhow... Hey, look! We can go up here now. Let's do it! Oh man, level 7. I'm just gonna get in some fights now, because look, look, we got a ways to go here. 
Oh, mmm. <laughs> yeah, just shot straight into the guard. You know, what I wish I'd put on Maria, I, I really wish that I had put some form of MP regeneration on her. I, I really wish I'd done that. I mean, actually, I guess it's not too late, right? I mean, hold on. Do I have an extra... I have an extra regen symbol. Hmm. So, okay, like, if I took that off, what would I... It would only reduce the attack by a tiny amount. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm gonna go for the regen symbol. I, I think that's how I want to play it. That way I just, yeah, like I won't have to constantly eat blackberries and it'll be nice. And I guess I'll just kind of try to keep an eye on the MP gauge. And, uh, yeah, I, c I can already see it filling up, so it's working out for me. Yeah, okay, like, yeah, ended the fight with quite a bit more MP than I started with. So it's worth it. It's worth it. I wonder how many floors there are. Hey, I gotta wonder, you know, as I'm getting up to floor 10, I'm wondering... Are there gonna be, like, is 10 gonna be the magic number, or... Or is this just gonna keep going? That's what I wonder. Alright, I didn't buff up this time. So, takes a little more, uh... Takes a little more hits there. It break that guard. So, oh god, why'd I, why'd I do that? So yeah, like, uh, because of that regen symbol, um, yeah, MP, MP is not an issue anymore. Uh, MP is not an issue at all. Alright, floor 10. So is this- oh wait, hold on. It's- it's branching out. Okay, oh, I see what we got here. Oh, I'm- I'm seeing it. So, okay. Anytime a video game gives me three branching paths, and it's only three, right? Yeah. So anytime a game does this, immediately my thought is, okay, the middle is gonna be like- it's gonna be some sort of, uh, some kind of gate, right? a gate or something that's blocked and I'm gonna have to go through the other two ways to uh, to actually get to my destination that's what I'm thinking I might be wrong though but I'm probably not huh huh Well, why not? Let's uh, let's get in a fight real quick. All right, I'm not buffed up. That doesn't stop me from just unloading the damage on it. Oh man, six 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 exp. <laughs> I love it. Uh, wait, I got turned around. I don't know how, but I got turned around. Hmm. I'm really wondering, like, am I missing something? Or... Could I really just, like, go straight forward? Hmm. Okay, this thing takes way too much damage to kill, so I'm just gonna... I'm gonna power up first. 
So, let's see what kind of difference it makes when you're actually, like, fully powered up. Okay. Yet yeah, one combo. So, with a power-up, it only takes one combo to kill them. I, had to, I think I had to chain them, like, three times last time, so it makes the difference. Ooh, hey, are we, like... Are we there? Are we there yet? Uh, this might be it. Hold on a minute. Uh, let's, uh, let's use some blackberries. Okay, I mean, look, it's a save point and a really long walkway. I think this might be it. I don't know, it feels like I, I might have skipped something, I don't know, but let's do it. Oh yeah. Oh fuck yes. Oh yeah. I, I do believe that's a time gate, so let's do it. Yeah, I do believe this is this is the final encounter. Yep. There's a lot of clocks if you if you haven't gotten that yet. So, uh, this is it. This is this is what it's all been kind of uh, going towards. What's uh, what's the final confrontation with uh, the owner going to be? Well, let's find out. Why? Why is this happening? Owner, I mean Luther. Now do you understand? Stop this right now! Blair? So you led them here. Your defiance knows no bounds, my sister. Your brother and sister? Gasp! It's like a double, triple twist. Oh no, yeah, uh. So Blair is the owner's sister. The life forms spawned within the Eternal Sphere have attained a level of intellectual development that rivals our own. It's time to let them go their own way. You're kidding me. They're nothing but data. The cosmos of the Eternal Sphere is a toy. It's just a game! See, he's got the right idea. Now that they've developed minds equal to our own, how are they any different from us? The evidence is clear. It's getting harder and harder to interfere in their dimension as we please. Doesn't that prove that they've become equals? That they deserve to live? But they've gained the power to cross into our own dimension and inflict harm on us. Such dangerous entities cannot be ignored. They didn't appear in our dimension until you tried to destroy theirs. In my mind, we've done nothing wrong by coming here to stop you. That's right! We've done nothing wrong! Oh god damn it. I, I like I, I love it how you you get this side character and uh you know it's like now they're in every cutscene and I just uh What are you talking about? The very existence of entities like these is causing massive bugs in the eternal sphere itself. Tell me what's wrong with eliminating flawed code. Flawed code? But you were the one who claims to have written us in the first place. Still, that does not mean we'll stand by and let you do as you please. We should live and die according to our own free will. This is ridiculous. You're nothing more than a collection of zeros and ones. 
No matter what the real truth is, the fact is we have thoughts and feelings of our own. We want to save our dimension and everyone in it. She's right. We've come all this way thanks to the thoughts and feelings of countless people. Yeah, thoughts and feelings, um, the power of friendship, all that, all that good stuff. Let's do it. Allowing you to erase us would betray them all. Thoughts and feelings? What rubbish! Your thoughts and feelings are nothing more than fabrications modeled on our own! Luther, you still don't get it, do you? Shut up already, Blair! It's you who doesn't understand! No matter how high a level of existence they try to reach, they're still nothing but fabrications. Data should obey the will of their creator and submit to deletion. We won't give up! Don't think everything will go your way. We're not your toys! Alright, it's time to get into combat stance. Alright, let's do it. Oh yeah, this is it. This is the fucking <laughs> the final fight. Okay, um, so uh, here's how I'm gonna play it. Uh, I am going to uh, just power up. Uh, yeah, just just uh, well, hold on. Angel feather would probably be the better course of action here. Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm gonna do that. So angel feather, and let's just run in there and uh, pump him full of bullets or or laser. Full of, pump him full of laser. Let's do it. Just the spam it. Mmm. That delicious combat spam. I know how to hit the X and O button. Boom, he's dead. Well. There you go. <laughs> Just cheesing the fuck out of it. I'm the creator. Why is this happening? Luther, stop this right now. Oh, of course it's not over. Hurry, everyone. Get the Eternal Sphere back up. I'll try to fill in the gaps the best I can. This makes no sense. How could this happen to me? How could I be surpassed by my own creations? <laughs> uh, that smack. Now I see. It's because I took the easy way out by only erasing the problematic data. If the viruses are working together to create their own data, then I should delete everything! Yeah, here we go. He wants to delete the universe. Luther? That's it! I won't stop with the Milky Way Galaxy. I'll completely delete all the data linked to the Eternal Sphere. That will completely eliminate these viruses too. <laughs> it's so simple. Why didn't I think of it before? But you know, I guess the uh, the one thing maybe he's not thinking about here is he's in the Eternal Sphere right now, so he would also be deleting him himself I I don't know uh, at this point like look be mad with power Let, let's just finish this no more of your silly tricks I'll delete the whole universe all that beep booping <laughs> there we go there's the villain laugh I like doing you are putting yourself in great danger by trying this while you're still projected into the eternal sphere Luther don't do it uh, so uh are we gonna are we gonna stop him before you know everything's gone <laughs> he 
Yeah, the gua ha ha ho ho ho. <laughs> of course. Die, 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 die! Be gone, everyone and everything! Righteousness shall prevail! All right. Let's do it again. Yeah, this is it. So this is the proper Yeah, this is the the proper final boss fight Okay, uh Yeah, I'm just buffing everyone up. I think the angel feather is in effect. I think Ooh. Hmm That's 90%. I don't need... I don't know. Yeah, why not? Let's go with full 90% recovery. I'm in it to win it. So, combat spam. Yeah, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat the final boss the same way I beat every single other boss in this game. By really, really cheap combat spam with Maria. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Oh. Oh. That is one Maria down. Uh, okay, let's hold on. Let me use my fresh sage. Okay, I gotta, I gotta get back here. Uh, Angel feather again. Okay, come on. Hmm. Oh god damn. Just oh oh god damn. This is not good. This is not good at all. Fuck, this isn't good. <laughs> okay, everyone is down. Um Yeah, let's just get them back up. Alright, wait for it. And let's magic berries again. Okay, yeah, the, the issue here <laughs> is getting to hit him. Yeah, I, I gotta hit him without getting murdered here. Hold on, fresh sage. Oh crap, I don't even have- I can't even get away! I can't even get away from it! <laughs> Let's see, what, how do I want to play this? Uh, this is tricky. Man, this is, uh, this is kind of, uh, this is the final boss fight that, uh, it's the kind of final boss fight that, I guess, you know, I want it, right? I, I guess it's the kind of fight that I want. Uh, it, it's the kind of fight where, um, the final boss just completely fucks you over constantly and there's not really a whole lot you can do about it <laughs> yeah it's that kind of fight it's that kind of fight oh god this is gonna hit everything isn't it <laughs> this is going to fucking hit everything I know it's gonna hit everything <laughs> Hold on, hold on. I gotta, I gotta get this out. Okay, let's buff up. I just, like, what the fuck is even going on right now? I don't even know, I don't even know what just happened. Uh, all I know is that it was really rough, whatever it was. Uh, let's use a physical enhancer on fate. Uh, 
Okay. Just run in there. Combat spam. Oh, wait. I gotta get back. Oh my god, I did it! All right. Everyone is dead except Maria. <clears throat> she's the only one that made it. So she's now the protagonist. Awesome. As it should be. Did we succeed in not being deleted? Oh, no. The SMC, the small Magellanic cloud, has been erased. M31, the Andromeda galaxy, erased. IC1613, erased. NGC6822, erased. At this rate, everything will be deleted. So, yeah, we failed. We still got deleted. <laughs> our universe is vanishing before our eyes. It is. Oh no. Do you think that maybe we were too late? I wonder what's going to happen. Just believe. Just believe that we exist here and now. Just believe. That's the answer. You're right. We're not just mere data that someone created. Mm -hmm. Just because we were told to accept deletion doesn't mean we have to give up. No way! That's right, Sophia. Choose to live! But yeah, no, the universe totally just ended. There's nothing left. Everything has completely vanished. Well, that's a wrap. Light, air, even my own body no longer exists. Absolute nothingness. Hmm? Nothingness? So nothing? really exists anymore. But if that were true, then what about this thought? This thought is real, and I am aware of this thought. So there is something left. There has to be. means that I'm still alive so he, he just uh, you know I think therefore I am himself back into existence uh. I'm in anime heaven. Oh. Welcome back, Faith. So yeah, where the hell are we anyway?
Hey! We were worried sick! Welcome back, Fate. So hey, everything's okay. Hey, guys. Took you long enough. Yeah. I see you guys are okay, too. What a relief. You mind explaining what happened? Have we been erased? Uh, does Maria have the answer? See in our dimension, and everything we can touch. It's all been a fabrication created for us to perceive. And now Luther has disabled our perception of such things, effectively erasing them from existence. Without perception, there is no existence. And yet, even though everything around us was an illusion, I'm positive that our minds, which perceived that dimension, really do exist. The fuck are you talking about, Maria? Like, uh. <clears throat> You're right. No matter what Luther claims, our minds are the only things that were real. That's exactly why Luther was unable to erase our consciousness. He merely deleted all the illusions around us. Doing so could not possibly erase that which actually exists outside of his creation. So, you're saying Luther never acknowledged our existence? Does his failure to do so explain why we still exist here? I don't... I don't think that's... I, I don't... I, I think this is some horseshit. Strictly speaking, the universe as we know it most likely no longer exists. Yeah, there we go. There we go. We still feel its existence in our minds. If everyone in that universe still feels like we do right now, then that universe really does exist. No matter what really happened. This is quite the philosophical conundrum. Does it really matter? Haven't we taken care of everything? If we have, then let's just leave it at that. Good point. We exist here, and so does the universe. And that's enough. Let's go. Let's go back to where we belong. Yeah, let's go, Fate. To our... to everyone's universe. So, uh... Yeah. That's an ending, all right. And there's your Mega Man running across the the uh, countryside right there. So yeah, that that's the end. That is that is the ending of Star Ocean till the end of time. Um. So okay, there's a lot of ways you could interpret that ending. Um. But I guess here's the thing, right? Like, so what What do we know did happen for reals for reals, right? Well, okay, uh, the universe, you know, the, the universe was a video game. That that was, you know, okay. Uh, the, uh, you know, Luther, the owner of the universe, just decided to delete the whole thing. And that happened. Um, now, we did have a backup copy of the universe, and that was what we were trying to do. However, we never got around to that. Now, so here's the thing. I guess there's a few interpretations of this, right? Uh, you could go with the interpretation 
Uh, you could go with the interpretation that, um, you know, everybody just believed hard enough and, uh, and that made everything okay, right? <clears throat> you know, if you just believe hard enough, uh, it's, it's all good, right? Um, then there's also the interpretation that, no, the universe and everyone in it, they, they completely got destroyed, um, which is what seems to have happened. But the backup copy might have come into play. So basically, like, every everybody just died. And uh, and then outside of the Eternal Sphere, uh, we can presume that uh, that Blair and, and her friends, you know, they, they uh, put in the backup copy of the universe and, and kind of rebooted everything, right? And then just sort of, you know, uh, program Fate and his friends back in there, right? That's, that's another way to interpret it. I'd prefer to go with that one. Uh, because for a few reasons um, one it doesn't presume that you know believing hard enough can can fucking bring the universe back uh, so that's I like that the second thing is is that's a pretty final way to end like star ocean right I mean like no everybody like everybody's fucking dead everybody fucking died and uh, and now it's just like like what's there now is just a just a cheap backup copy. That's 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 uh that's the conclusion that I like to go with. That's that's the ending I prefer. That's my interpretation of it. So yeah, when you know when this game said that it was Star Ocean till the end of time, it meant it till the end of fucking time because time just fucking ended. Uh. So yeah, I hope it was I hope it was entertaining. You know, I hope it was it was entertaining and that it was totally worth, you know, like again, you could be out voting. But no, here you are. <sighs> Man, it was a ride, and I didn't- so here's the thing, there's a lot of side content that I could have done, and I didn't do. Um, yeah, so like, okay, there was a lot of side content, there was a lot of optional character progression that you could have done as well. Like, uh, basically, every time you go to a town, like, your party splits up, and you can talk to each individual party member. Uh, I didn't do that. I didn't, like, I didn't talk to any of them. Uh, but if you do that, if you talk to them, it actually, like, you'll, you'll get, like, little scenes, and it'll, it'll advance things with the characters and, and add to your, like, your relationship with the character. Yeah, I didn't do that. Also, there were optional characters, namely Roger, Albel. I didn't get them. I just straight up didn't get them. Uh, there was so okay optional content um, in terms of optional content there's actually like there's a few optional dungeons in the game there's the ruins under Surferio, which is like a massive optional dungeon with crazy hard enemies um, then there's also another dungeon underneath Moselle and it's also just you know oh hey ho hold on hold on we've got some epilogue About that time. Yes, it is. Say hi to the old man for me. Then apologize to him. Tell him I'm sorry I can't take over the dojo. Sure, Cliff. Is his health all that bad? I can't believe it. He's such a tough old guy, I always thought he was indestructible. I think he's exaggerating a little bit. He just wants me to come home, that's all. So again, I didn't talk to anyone, so so this kind of comes out of nowhere. Down in the dumps. Maybe it's just his age catching up with him. Probably, and I've been away for so long. Yeah. The 
transport Canex will be departing for Claus system shortly. Passengers wishing to board the Canex should report to gate 3. Your attention, please. Well, I have to go or I'll miss the transport. See you later, Cliff. Yeah, uh... I'm sorry. I wish I could go back. Uh, to but it's pretty much impossible the way things stand. Yes, you got the short end of the stick again. Don't worry about it. That's what I like about you, Cliff. I, uh, see, again... Because I never talked to anyone, it's like, what what is going on right now? Like Adre, I never I never talked to Adre, not even once. I don't know anything about him. I guess that's about as much as you can do with those limp noodles you call arms. If you wanna go home, go right ahead. I never like I don't know a damn thing about Adre. Just so you know, it's not like I'm forcing you or anything. If you can't handle how I do things around here, feel free to quit at any time. Got it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Father? Whatever are you making them do? I'm merely training your subordinates, as you seem unfit for the task. Yeah, like all this character development I never got I'm during the game. This unit, Father, not you. Please don't stick your nose where it doesn't belong. Their main tasks involve office work and research. There's no need to force them to train like this. What are you talking about? Are these pallid wimps supposed to be recognized as members of the S.H.I.E.L.D. Legion? Which is entrusted with the defense of the kingdom? The owner of a healthy body is the owner of a healthy spirit. You spoil them too much. The way you do uh, things, only owners of unhealthy spirits will be left Again, alive. like, I, I, we never I talked to Adre, not opinion. even fucking once. I just, I, uh. And Tinfoil, uh, yeah, so Tinfoil, um... Yeah, no, uh, this is, I, I beat the game, I got the ending, and this is like the post-ending right now. This is Allow like the epilogue. He's right, we're so close. And I beat the final boss pretty much the same way I beat every other boss in the game. By cheesing it out with Maria. What? <laughs> See? They all want to finish. Why don't you just back off, huh? A hundred and seven. A hundred and eight. I can do more. Uh, so anyway, if you want to know what happened, Tinfoil, um, and anyone joining late, uh, so yeah, we, uh, the owner, he went completely fucking crazy at the end, and, you know, he's like, no, not, we can't just delete, you know, the Milky Way galaxy, I have to delete the whole thing, and, and yes, he deleted the whole universe. We actually failed to stop him from deleting the universe. So he deleted the universe, and uh, that was just it. Like everything got blipped out. And then uh, and, and then through the power of believing in ourselves, we, we just kind of popped back into existence. And that's how you, there's multiple interpretations to the ending, which I talked about. Look at these people. It's not healthy to train until you faint. Nah, uh, it's no big deal. I just promised them that whoever lasts till the end of my workout program gets to marry you, that's all. Well, it's not like you've got somebody else picked out. So oh pick man, now it's just going through all the characters and their backstories. Father, now that's really going too far. I'll pick my own husband, thank you very much. You know, that's why you're still single after all this time. I think part of the problem is that you don't associate with any gentleman. And at your age, too. Again, I never talked to Adre, I to never talked to Claire thing. outside of the main story. I don't know a damn thing about them, I don't care. Mercy, mercy. Oh god I damn, I really don't care about up. these characters. In the back, please? Yes, Missy. 
and quack a story, you bring forward my ring, uh, which I'll use at the But anyway, of the um... Day. Yeah, so like, okay, uh, the summary is of the ending is that there's many interpretations of it, like, you could interpret it that like, you know, through through their powers and, and the power of, of friendship, like they, you know, they somehow re, you know, they, they somehow rebuild the universe, right? Uh, but there's a more likely answer, and the more likely answer is, is that there was a backup copy of the universe, we knew that, um, so my my thought on the ending and what I think is more likely is that everybody fucking died Okay, like the universe fucking ended uh, But if you're you know Blair had a backup copy so she she popped the backup copy in and and just sort of uh, You know restored to an earlier point as it were and then just made some concessions uh, So that fate and his friends remember everything I think that's about it, you know so basically, the entire Star Ocean universe just fucking ended. I see, I see. You're right. We'll have to make sure tomorrow's performance is tight. But yeah, you know, like that's how you that's how you end a franchise, right? Just fucking destroy everything. When this game, like when this game is called, you know, its little subtitle is "Till the End of Time." No, it fucking meant it. It fucking meant "Till the End of Time." I'll see you later, eh? I think they really, like, I think they really wanted to end it with this, but but then Star Ocean Four and Five happened. Chief and the assistant chief. Oh man, again, all these characters I never talked to that I, I just don't care about, but they need an epilogue. Uh, every every Star Ocean does this. They always like they they epilogue, you know. So where are they now? And uh, uh, uh no, no, not at all, not at all. Really, you know, we've been dealing with you for a long time now. Don't you think we've figured out how you try to talk your way out of things by now? That's right. That's right. No tricks. Um, uh, that is, uh, that is, uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, the circus people. Yes, that's your line. Quanta story, Ursus, you guys can take a break. Man, so I'm trying to think, like, we, we covered we'll Cliff and Mirage, uh, Pepita now, Adre, which, I, like, <laughs> they, 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 like, Adre, like, you get Adre in, like, the last five hours of the game, um, there's still, like, Fate, Maria, Sophia, Nell, uh, I don't think they're gonna do Albel or, or Roger, because they weren't in my party. Good luck. You can do it. But oh god, we're gonna be here for a while. <laughs> May you succeed beyond your wildest expectations, oh spirit of labor. Oh, we're gonna be here for a while. I hope Roger doesn't show up. He wasn't. I didn't get him in my party. What a story. What about me? I don't know what he told you, but don't be fooled. You help him. What? What a disappointment. Oh, well, just chalk it up to experience. Uh, but, uh, you know, like, I think I kind of beat this game clocking in around 37 hours. Um, there was a lot of side content that I, a lot of side content that I could have done, and I didn't. Uh, there was whole, there were two whole dungeons, like, two whole optional dungeons that I didn't do. Um, and then, you know, two optional characters that I didn't get. Oh, hey, here we go. Here we go. It's Nell. The noblemen of Greeton, where the damage was relatively minor, formed a conspiracy to take advantage of the situation. However, now that the Lord of Arzum has been stricken with an illness, the conspiracy is slowly dying out. Is that so? This is very unfortunate for the Lord of Arzen, yet very fortunate for our country. We have asked our citizens to suffer too much already. Now, 
Our sacred kingdom of Aquaria has lost even the ability to avoid useless conflicts. In the years to come, until our kingdom's strength has recovered, we will have to ask you to perform many difficult missions. We are counting on you. All right, so I guess yes, Nell is gonna, majesty. she's she's gonna be doing lots of stealth Please, missions. This goes without saying, I have yet to earn the honor of serving the Crimson Blade, but I will not betray your Majesty's sacred trust. I will spare no efforts in these tasks. It would seem we can stop worrying about Greeton for a while. Although Paraglyph is another story, uh. according to the reports of the Spectral Legion, everything is peaceful in the Sandmite region. So, it would appear that domestic problems are our main concern. We agree. We do not want to believe this, but... And, and yeah, uh, so Frog, I, I get what you're saying there. And that's, uh, that's, that's the popular, like, what people like to think the, that's their interpretation of the ending. I, you know, I, I get it. Um, that's probably what the game is going for, too. Objectives of this plot, or who the but personally, like I just, I, I can't, I can't go along with that because it's investigation. like that's too much of that, you know. As long as you believe, you know, the power of believing in your friendship and all that, like that, you know, that makes it real. Like I, I can't know. Uh, I, I prefer the no, everybody's fucking dead, and this is just a cheap imitation copy of the universe. That's what I like. That's that's what I think is more practical and more realistic. Because sure? we saw the universe get deleted. Alright, like we saw the Milky Way, like we saw like all the stars burn out, like no, everybody fucking died. That happened. No, your majesty. I need to keep working. It's the only way I can relax now. Yeah, no, it, it's a backup. Like, th this is just a cheap imitation of the universe. That's that's all it is. That's that's what I'm going with. Because it's the only thing that doesn't... Uh, it's the only ending that doesn't revolve around really, really stupid bad writing. Her Majesty has spoken. You must send one of your subordinates. What? Don't tell me you're actually complaining about taking a few days off. I will give the matter due consideration. In that case, you are dismissed. With the past war, our country finds itself in dire need of what personnel it has left. And of course, like, I think, like, the yeah, other, like, I think, like, another popularly accepted Thank interpretation is, okay, like, so, uh, Sophia and Maria and all that, like, so, like, Maria has alteration, that's her power, right? Sophia has connection. So it's like, like, another one is that, like, okay, so they use their powers together and, and, like, they, uh, they alterate the universe to make it real, right? Hello, Professor Elena. But again, you it's like the universe got deleted, so there's nothing to alterate. So I, I don't know. That's it's right. uh... it's about the motor I developed based on channeled force. I see. I haven't seen you in a long time. You sure look busy. But you're so young. Why don't you try to do some of the things only the young can do? I'll support you any way I can. I don't know. Like I. <sighs> So again, I think uh, Star Ocean till the end of time. I still like the game. I like it a lot. Alright? I, I still think this is like, it's my favorite Star Ocean out of all of them. Um, and it's it's the first one that I played, too. You know, like, uh, this is the first one I ever played. Uh, it was my intro to the series, and man, what an intro, right? But uh, I, I still stand by my, my statement that I've made the whole time. Which is basically that the plot was going fine. Like, I think the plot of this game is really interesting and compelling, and I love it until you get to the time gate. Like, the moment you go through the time gate into the fourth dimension, that's where it all just falls apart. Unfortunately. But, like, everything up until that point is is awesome. And, and hey, like, that's like... System it's like 25 hours, right? It's like 25 hours of content before it goes sour, so... You know, that's pretty good. That's pretty good for me. Okay, and the rest is all up to the autopilot. About 30 minutes left till we reach Genesis system. 
and uh yeah like the way the way they do it like you know the universe is a simulation it's a you know it's it's a video game like you know like, like here's the thing i think you know if it, if it was like a matrix simu uh kind of situation right uh, if it was maybe like some That's sort of a matrix uh, situation, um, I, I don't know, that might have been better, but it's like, uh, I don't know, it's Unless the idea that the entire Star Ocean universe, boys and girls someday, like, uh, of course, you know, they're video games, but it's like the idea that, no, they're video games in continuity, like, that just, I don't know, it just sours the whole thing, you know? This makes everything feel cheap. I know, but we're gonna meet with some big wigs from but the I don't know. Federation. It might government. just be me. I don't know how we'll handle them in the new government, but I can't just roll out of bed right before our meeting, can I? And man, this epilogue just keeps going. <laughs> I guess it's tough to be famous. I didn't get famous on purpose. It was more of a process of elimination thing. But honestly, flying all over the place on a daily basis like this, Ugh. doesn't it give you lots of food for thought? <laughs> yeah, even Reboot would have worked, oh my god. <laughs> I'm always worried that my wife will leave me or something. Actually, today's my daughter's birthday, but here I am. Man, I want to go back and watch Reboot, like like the first season of Reboot. I want to watch that again sometime. Sometimes. I'm no ogre, you know. If you ask for a vacation, I won't say no. That won't work either, will it? Since or maybe Beast Wars even, but <laughs> really <lack personnel. laughs> but I hear what you're saying about uh, the the reboot, like because well, I, I mean in reboot it was all a video game, wife, but she understands about all that. Or you know, like it was all like you know they're living in a computer, but they knew they were living in a computer. Ah, that reminds me. And it was uh, I like I don't know, that was never really an issue, you know. Place. You've got about two hundred this time. At least twenty of those are priority A too. I bet it's fan letters from all those two-faced geezers you get, huh? <laughs> yeah, I think, like, here's here's a good way to look at Star Ocean. Um, like, okay, like, you know, when it comes to Till the End of Time, just imagine, like, just imagine that the game ends, like, the moment they go through the time gate, right? Imagine that the game just ends the moment they go through the time gate. Like, that's it. It's, you know, it's pretty weird that they ended the game on a cliffhanger, but hey, that's how they decided to end it. <laughs> so there, yeah, like, that, that solves all the problems. Well, they are both beautiful, but I bet this will turn out even worse than the letters from those old men. I never was any good at figuring out what those kinds of people are really thinking. Just more ulcers for me, as always. All I want is a nice, relaxing dinner. If only Fate or Maria would come back, things would go a little bit easier. I guess, like, the only problem well, that uh, is... It's okay, like so, <clears throat> like, in the, in the games anyway. that came after this, there's Some always some little, uh... Them back out again, but like, they, they always drop a little something, right? Even if it's just, like, a single text box. So, um, everything would be so much easier. So, like, okay, like in Star Ocean Five, which I um I beat yeah, Star well, Ocean Five know, like a while back, ranking, so and um, so, so here's do. the thing, like in Star Ocean Five, there's some so things, the right? Like there's a time baton, gate in in the fifth Star Ocean, which this is the third one. Um, in the fifth one, uh, there's a time gate. A they don't actually go through it, like they and and it's the same with four. Like in Star Ocean, both four and five. We there's a the time gate at the end, so but they don't actually go about. through the time gate. Um, which, I good, right? But, um, Still, like, the final boss no is just kind of, like, you know, tapping into the power of the we'll time gate, but not actually can, going through it. And that's that's how Star Ocean 4 and 5 generation. go down. Um, that's the job of old guys like us. Uh, and, uh, so, like, in 5, um, the only thing that really, like, directly hints at, like... I guess the only thing that really directly hints at, at sort of, um, you know, all the nonsense Time to say goodbye to the ship. is, uh, like, okay, they, you know, at the end of the game, there's a little box that pops up. Like, when you've beaten the game, at the very end, after all the epilogue, it says, you know, like, thanks for playing the Eternal Sphere. You know, if you'd like to continue your adventure in the Eternal Sphere, you know, go back to your last save point and exit the, you know, exit the, the uh, you know, the subspace area and, and you can, you can do extra stuff. Like, it's just, you know, little things like that, right? Captain, I have something I want to talk to you about. Do you mind? 
Oh boy, there he goes. There he goes. All right, either he uh, succeeds or everything falls apart. What a sight to behold. And and nice. We're we're getting the the epilogue from Maria now. Thank you. The main the character world. of the game. I never would have been able to make it this far without you. Thanks, Lieber. So, what did you want to talk about? Uh, Captain, I mean, Maria, um, that is, I mean... Oh, god what damn it. it. What are you so nervous about? If there's something I can help with, just say the word and I'll do it. Are you sure you want to let this chance pass you by? Won't you regret it later? Don't let it stress you out. Follow your heart. Follow your dreams. <laughs> Escape from the city. Oh. <laughs> I've gotten over it. You can't keep fighting for a lost cause forever, you know. You'd have to be pretty stupid to keep trying and trying. Like good old Lieber here. Okay, let's all go back home to where we belong. We have to start our new lives for ourselves now. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Thank Sophia. So wh where the hell is she going? Hornet, which is bound for the planet Roke and Krato Spaceport 3. The ship will be arriving in our Kula system in 12 days, followed by our final destination of Roke after a total of 14 days in transit. Please enjoy your flight. So now here's what I'm wondering That's like is long. the earth is the earth still destroyed in this backup copy of the universe or is the earth okay now uh I, it's kind of unclear Now that the creator has left this universe a new universe created by the formal inhabitants of the eternal sphere has been born Birth prosperity glory decline destruction and then rebirth Ever since the dawn of history, these events have been repeated over and over. But what happened this time was something completely different from all that came before. Rebellion against the Creator. The unforgivable sin. Did we do the right thing? Can we as humans bear the weight of this sin? I, you know, I guess technically we did, we did still punch God in the face, technically. Hey you, what are you looking so glum for? You're adults, ain't ya? So act like adults. Who the hell is this character? Um, miss? You know, I have no idea what happened to you, and I don't want to know. But you know, you can't do a dang thing about stuff that's already happened. Stop moping around and start thinking about something else. Some people always feeling sorry for themselves. And and yeah, like a good point, Tinfoil. Like, I mean, like literally, like where do you go from here? It's like, you know, you're basically just a World of Warcraft character. Like that, like where do you go from there, knowing that your whole universe is a lie? You got something to say to me? Then just say it! Oh, sorry. Please forgive me. Oh my me. god, the it's Ruddle. Kids say. Like, Ruddle is a- it, Ruddle is a common recurring hey, character. Ruddle, you stay out of this. I don't know about Rumina, but like, Ruddle is a common recurring character in Star Ocean. Rumina, please. A whole lot of people lost their families, loved ones, and friends in this war. Try thinking a little bit about their suffering and their sadness. If you did, you'd never say things like that. He's just a weird repeating NPC, which... Yeah? Well, I mean, now that you think about the video gamey implications of the Star Ocean universe, it's like, hmm, hmm. Am I wrong? Rumina, please, please don't talk like that. People who can't understand the pain of others are the worst people around. What? What are you talking about? Ruddle, you... 
Wait, it's okay. She's right. Yeah, you're right. It's exactly like you said. We have to be more positive. Uh. Crying about things won't change anything. Thanks, Romina. You've taught me a valuable lesson. Yeah, valuable lessons about friendship and magic and believing in positivity and all that all good, good stuff. As long as you know what I mean. So come on, there's You've only got like it right. uh, when your very existence is denied, if you accept that and don't even try to fight, you might as well be dead. So there's only one more character that needs a wrap up here, and that's our fate. Own selves, then who will do it for us? So what about fate? A migratory bird. I wonder what everyone's doing right now. Now that I think about it, I did do a lot of crazy things. Maybe I should stay out of sight for a while. So I guess this is the alone ending On for the fate. Side, my college is closed indefinitely. I love it. <laughs> yeah, college closed Wait, indefinitely anywhere. because you know it, it got blown up with everything else on Earth. <laughs> so yeah, school's out. <laughs> uh, okay, there we go. The end. The end. So man, like Fate's ep like how how fucked up is that? Fate's epilogue was the quickest. Oh, cleared game information was correctly saved. Okay, good. So yeah, there, there's a bunch of post game like it's got like a, a weird kind like new game plus kind of thing going on. Um, but that's it. That's that's the end. That is the end of Star Ocean till the end of time. <laughs>